we will do several reaction with ferric chloride for 4 of the sample let us say quinol. If quinol is this structure, it is easily dissolved in water. First we dissolve this quinol, let us say pinch or one spatula of the quinone around 50 to 100 milligrams in water, 1 milliliter of water, then we will add ferric chloride solution to this. While this ferric chloride solution the drop, we will add drop by drop, one drop is going inside the solution, we will find a transient green coloration which will disappear immediately. So, this is why we call it transient and the actually the green color is coming due to this complex which will be immediately oxidized to this yellow color quinone and th so the solution will be the yellow color after few seconds. So, this is your quinone and this is your transient green color. In second sample resorcinol, if you this is actually 1, 3 dihydroxy benzene, if you take this is also water soluble, if you take aqueous solution of this resorcinol if you add ferric chloride drop by drop, let us say one or two drop, you will say will observe this permanent violet color because of this complex and this color is permanent. Unlike this transient green which is not permanent, you will observe for fraction of second, but this permanent this for this resorcinol you will observe the permanent violet color. In yes. Third sample, if you take this salicylic acid, which is not that soluble, so we have to use aqueous ethanolic solution. What is that? You take this salicylic acid, you dissolve in 0.5 milliliter of ethanol, and then you add around 0.5 milliliter of water to get this aqueous ethanol ethanolic solution of this organic sample, which is salicylic acid. If you take this salicylic acid and add ferric chloride, due to formation of this type of complex, you get a permanent violet coloration, which will be totally different from the benzoic acid, which will give you the buff color. Hello everybody, now I will show the test for hydroquinol, resorcinol and salicylic acid. So, first we need to make their aqueous solution of organic sample, then we will add ferric chloride and we will see how the coloration takes place. Okay. This is a very easy test and specially for the hydroquinol, we will observe a transient bluish green color which is bit tricky and it will be their transient mean which stay for very fraction of very short period of time, let us say few fraction of seconds. Okay. You have to observe when the drop of ferric chloride entering the organic solution, the organic sample solution in is aqua solution, then only you will find it. Okay, so, let me take this test tubes <coughs> and here is the hydroquinone, this is well soluble in water. So, I will make a aqua solution. So, you have to dissolve it, you do not have to take too much sample, maybe 50 milligram is sufficient for this test in 1 uh, to 2 milliliter of the water, distilled water. Okay. So, what we have here, we have hydroquinol solution in water, still some crystals are floating around, so we have to dissolve it to get a better test, it is almost done. Okay. So, now I will add ferric chloride solution and remember one thing, when we add ferric chloride solution, the when the drop is just slowly going inside and you can see the coloration around the drops. Okay. If you add and go back to your bench and want to see the color, you will not find it, because by that time the complex of hydroquinol with ferric chloride will decompose and you know hydroquinone are easily oxidized to quinone and you get a yellow coloration okay? that is not a transient green or bluish, uh, bluish green whatever. So, you have to observe while you are adding the ferric chloride drops. Now, here is our ferric chloride solution. So, now show me charge will help me to place white paper, so that we can get a better just background. I am adding ferric chloride and let us observe when the ferric chloride is dissolving in the organic, the in the solution, 
hot coloration takes place. So, you can see it will be can you see it is a transient green color, okay. but if I do it again it is already yellow because now quinone form okay. the complex no more exist. Okay. So, I will do once more with another solution I made okay. again let us do that one. Let me do uh, first drop we have to observe okay. again. Okay. You can see nice color, but color will not survive more than a second okay. it, it goes. Okay. So, we have drawn the hydroquinone test how the transient green how to observe it. Now, I will uh, do the resource phenol one you get uh, the similar test you get a violet color. Okay. Okay, now, I am showing the test for resource phenol. So, we will make a aqua solution of the resource phenol and then we will add ferric chloride unlike the transient green we will get a permanent bluish violet coloration. Okay. For that I will take one crystal of the only one small crystal okay, not, not too much okay, just one crystal I am adding in this test tubes. Then I am adding 1 to 1 and half milliliter water little bit more or less is not a problem for us. So, we have to shake it to dissolve it again it a crystal so it take 1 to minute to dissolve it. Okay, so, I made the aqua solution of organic sample and now I am going to add ferric chloride solution only one drop I will add not much and remember one thing if you have too much sample organic sample here the color will be so dark you will not observe the violet color it will be very dark violet and better to add less amount of sample for most of the experiment. Okay. Can you see the blue color I will put a white background to get a better view. So, this is a nice violet color. Okay. So, if I dilute it the color will be much better you can see already okay. it is much better. So, now, I think it is much better you can see very clearly it is a violet color okay. because this is the problem if you have too much sample it will be so dark you will not get this violet color okay. violet or blue whatever. So, this is a nice blue color right we can clearly observe this is the test for the resource you know. So, now I will do for the salicylic acid. So, now I will do the test for the same test for salicylic acid again you get the blue coloration but the color will discharge on adding the dilute HCl that is the difference. So, again I took very less amount of sample salicylic acid nice crystalline solid I am adding So, better to add few drops of ethanol okay, to make it dissolve to work well add a few drops of ethanol ethanolic aqua solution. Okay. So, I need to check the hydrochloric acid it is there. So, now again I will add ferric chloride solution you will find a very deep violet coloration. Okay. Just I am adding one drop of ferric chloride solution can you see a nice violet color probably I need to dilute it again. Okay. So, now I will add some more water with a nice violet color you can see this one. Okay. I will throw a little bit more because I have added little too much sample. Okay. So, this is nice violet color can you see the really violet color I have diluted it so that you can see it clearly. Okay. So, nice violet color is it visible. 
So, to discharge the color I have to add dilute HCl. So, we can see the color it is a violet color everything clear it is a nice violet color. So, now I will add dilute hydrochloric acid to discharge it. So, you can see color is gone. So, this is a nice test for salicylic acid. So, there is no, no color basically. Okay. Okay, thank you we have done for this time and we will come back with a more exciting experiment in future.